Ay, ay, ay. So I look for a good red captain. <laughs> Watch you black up your face so far, Reds. Don't worry, Rich. He, he feels he's one of them star boy in American war picture. I had to look like you fellas. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you, Winston, <laughs> what you doing with them? I thought you had a scholarship tomorrow. So, oh, you give me the rake. What happened? It was just like in the movies, boy. By the time we pass sugar waters and the fields of sugar cane, you can see the gas flares bright like banners across the Carony Plain. We turned off the lights of the jitney and we coast down real slow. And that is when the idea hit me to black it up like a commando. General Bones and Private Marshall cut a hole in the fence with the pliers. And being the bravest of them all, I performed as duty requires. Meaning? Meaning distinguishing myself in hand-to-hand -hand combat, I mean. Well, that ain't so surprising, since your father was a U.S. Marine. I am also extremely thirsty, sir, and since I have played my part, I now expect don't curse me, sir, one beer and one purple heart. I didn't do my homework, teacher, because I passed my globe today. They were showing this double feature at the 12 o'clock matinee. I suffering from distraction and it's so hard to concentrate. I like film with plenty action, so exams go have to wait. Bogart in Casablanca, Garfield in body and soul, the sands, the sands of Iwo Jima, John Green in his western room. Hester as Moses' partner by Cecil B. the Meal. Oh, God send him a gunner to the streets of Lavantil. Lord Nasquasimoto, all of us Frankenstein. Peter Lorre as Miss Tomato. Rita Hayward flat behind. behind. <laughs> what were the last words of Little Caesar to the blast of a Tommy gun? You got me, Joe, where's the answer? Said by Edward G. Robinson. Like a gang war in Warner Brothers, like a showdown in RKO, the name of the band is Mandidos, and the sheriff is Texaco. Stars above us, die for our dreams to start. We live the dreams of others. Edward G. Cagney. Hurry up and paint over them drums. No, what I was saying in the jitney is that Yankee War picture always have better action because they have the money to spend. If I pay my money, I want to see where it went. But everybody prefer action to acting. My boy is Bogart. Bogart. <laughs> I like Cagney. Always talking like a cat in heat. Always jacking his trousers up with the two elbows. <laughs> they say Irish like my father was. Yeah. Like Zora's father. You are both children of the occupation. <coughs> Who's Zora? Wait, wait, wait. You mean Zora, your Indian girlfriend with no ass? Hey, 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 hey. Hello. No bones. She have both tits, legs, and ass. <laughs> <laughs> she just come down from south. <laughs> hey, I spoke to Joe Aaron Kinian again by the paddock at the Savannah. We had a drink at the Queen's Park Hotel. Wait. Two white men together? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Did you call him Joe? Joe? Hey, uh, Joe. Uh, me. How you doing, Joe? Joe. 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 We had a piece of prime land here. <laughs> he offered to buy the pannier wholesale and move us to a place more convenient. Convenient for who? That Syrian. Not a Syrian. He's an Armenian. Same khaki pants. <laughs> <laughs> we blocking his future. Yes. <clears throat> This yard is prime land. Aaron Kenya know that. You always pressing me to move, to make way for some housing project. Oh, high-rise slum. But I tell him we're happy as we are, broke and catch ass as we are. 
but he don't give up. He offering to be our lawyer. If we were in trouble, but we end in trouble, I'd say yes. Till then is no stroke play, boy, stroke play. <laughs> <laughs> look at late. Hey, look, all you. It's getting late. Let me pack up. Mm -hmm. Reds, you on guard tonight. Good. I had a piece. <laughs> Roger. Don't use no damn gun, you hear me? Anyway, all that is Belmont business. I checking out a Belmont and I taking this fan here. You check it You got out. it for me. You checking out to go where? Woodbrook. Woodbrook? I can't make the rent on the place, fella. Somebody go offer to make me bunk with them? But, but, you, look, look. but you could bunk with me until you find a place. Yeah, look, look. You the best tenor man that I have. I can't share. A friend offer me a good place. Very reasonable. I got to move, fellas. That don't mean I can't play for bandidos. You know that is exactly what it means. You took an oath. You're here with bandidos. You die with bandidos. Wait, wait, stop. You gonna tell me where to live? No. But I can tell you who you could play with. If you move into Woodbrook, play pan for Woodbrook. Play for Raiders. Raiders is Woodbrook. Look, Woodbrook, you mad? A fella I know had a falling out there in Raiders Spaniard when there was a sin. They break your hand. <laughs> Look, me and a partner from Renegades was lining outside, right? So one of them pan man walk up to us and tell us to move. That we mark in their panorama arrangement. Well, I move. Me ain't stupid. But my friend didn't. And they break his hand. That is nonsense, so often. They say the same thing about bandidos. Look, Bones, I should know when a man hand break. They take a tuning hammer and he elbow crack. No more ten a pan for he for renegades. And I playing for bandidos. Not if you're in Woodbrook. But break my freaking hand hey, 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 gentlemen. Well, you can help me with the rent when I catch on my ass to buy a carob and a half pack of anchor? This is me. Freaking Roger. The best tenor pan in this whole mother ass country. You gotta stand up there and tell me where to live. What do you expect? No. Tell me. What do you expect? You expect me to cross over and join the Raiders just because I find a, a blasted gun battery across the bridge? I don't have to argue, you know. You know the rules. If you're playing for Woodbrook, Woodbrook is Raiders, Bandidos is Belmont. It's like joining the army. You of all people should understand that. Your father was a blasted U.S. Marine. Oh, he didn't get up one morning and decide to fight for Hitler. To play for Belmont, you must live in Belmont. That's the rules and you, you have to abide by it. Nobody got to tell me where to live. Sorry, Bones. I move into Woodbrook. But regular as before. Roger. Roger, you can't. No, the ass was all you. And I take in the Spaniard. I steal it. Belmont is Belmont. Woodbrook is Woodbrook. And never the twain shall meet. No, it's not. You shut your ass. You're not bandido, so you can't talk. <laughs> when you join, you could talk. It's about the arrangement. If you go with Raiders, he could tell him about Ellie tuning and show me tail of the he competition. Not do that. I simply can't take that chance as captain. Not so early. Correct. So put the damn pan back. <laughs> but we will lose our friend bones. Listen, I got to run home. Look, it's not my fault. It's the music. Run home, little boy. If I am captain. I must follow the rules. And this is my final rule to you. God, them pants. There we go. Reds! Drop your weapon, Starboy! Come on, get the copper! <laughs> 